Hey guys, in today's video, we'll be talking about what you should know before starting your Amazon FBA business, so be sure you stay tuned. Hey guys, Bashar Ketu here, Amazon FBA seller from beautiful San Diego. In today's video, we'll be talking about exactly what is your Amazon FBA business going to encounter in the next couple of months and what you should know exactly before entering into selling on Amazon or if you are already an Amazon seller what do you should expect happening in the next couple of months many of you guys know that not too long ago President Donald Trump had imposed um, or tried to impose a new tariff on all goods coming from outside of the country from overseas especially from China and that is you know taking effect uh, slowly and uh, now be, you know more than ever is actually affecting the way Amazon sellers operate their businesses for one particular and main reason is that everything that they are importing from China is now costing a lot more than it did before not because the manufacturing cost is going up but just because the uh, delivery cost or the shipping cost has definitely gone up since you know a few months ago um, also, another thing that you guys should know is that it now takes longer to actually ship your products from your suppliers into your Amazon warehouse, um, you know, than it used to before because customs are now taking longer to checking your inventory to making sure that everything is up to par and there isn't any, you know, any um, um, uh, um, any products that are coming in without meeting any specific regulations. So why is that important for us to know, um, aside from the cost itself? I get asked by many students, you know, saying that, um, how long do I plan, uh, or how much do I keep in stock? How much inventory do I keep in stock? You know, first ask them a question, which is, how much exactly do you sell per month, or how many units do you sell per day, right? And you need to, to you know, uh, establish that, amount and to make sure that you at least have that much in your you know in your inventory um, at the Amazon's warehouse now the second thing that I ask is how long does it take for your supplier to manufacture the product and how long does it take for a supplier to ship the product into Amazon and we all know that it takes two to five days minimum for Amazon to sort out through your inventory and to make it available for sale because a lot of times what happens is let's say you ship over 200 units and of course, the first, let's say, 50 or 100 units are going to become available right away. But then the remaining, you know, 40 to 60% to are probably going to take a few days, sometimes even a couple of weeks to become available because Amazon disperses your inventory to different warehouses to keep their uh, shipping cost and also the shipping times down, right? So you need to understand that it is going to take that much longer for your product to reach its destination so you need to plan ahead okay so if you before if you would order every three weeks now maybe you should order every two weeks or you know or just order if you're ordering every you know 100 or 200 units every time even though you should order 250 or 300 units every time because it is going to take longer for your supplies to get to amazon's warehouse as far as the price goes you definitely need to probably start increasing your price little by little and I say that because almost everybody across the board is going to experience this it's going to experience that their price is you know is starting to go up now I'm not exactly sure how much it's going to go up because my suppliers have been warning me that the the cost is definitely going to go up um, but nobody still knows how much because you know the way that suppliers work is that they manufacture the product and many of them work with several different freight forwarders and the freight forwarder is like uh, like a, the stock exchange or whatnot where you know the the uh, the price or the stock market goes up and down every day and throughout the day so they kind of like figure out how much stock or how much your your inventory going to cost literally right there and then they'll give you a price they'll lock it and then they'll send it out so they you know the suppliers don't even know how much it's going to go up they just know it's going to go up because their freight forwarders keep telling them that and then the freight forwarders keep finding out from customs and just like that you know so it kind of goes back to of course the government itself so anyhow just one really wanted to put this video out there that you definitely need to understand 
that you know the game is going to change and only the ones that are going to stay at the top are the ones that know exactly what they're doing and the ones that can adapt that can change and that can you know work with the way that the change happens right you can't stick to what used to work before because what used to work before doesn't necessarily work now so you need to understand that and you need to pretty much work with it right so aside from that guys but shark had to hear amazon a bsl from beautiful san diego the question of the day is what do you mostly struggle with when selling on amazon whether if it's product research whether if it's you know locating suppliers uh launching a product uh creating a listing doesn't matter what it is go ahead and comment your answers in the comment section below let me know exactly how i can help out we will start doing product research um you know videos starting next week because it is one of the videos that have been requested by a lot of my students and followers so i'll definitely be going more in depth into that if there is any specific video or topic you guys want me to cover in this uh channel please be sure to drop it in the comments below also if this is your first time to my channel welcome thank you very much for watching me go ahead and like this video share this video and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos like this one aside from that guys best shark get to hear amazon at bsl'er from beautiful san diego thank you for being so awesome i'll see you guys in the next video you guys have a great day and take care